Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. I have thought about it, and today we're going to do double slicers and see how it feels. I think what I'm going to do is, I think for now I'm going to do double classic cards because I want to uh, play classic card, basically. I want to build up a win streak and get on the leaderboards and such because that's fun. I'm not in like a big rush, you know? I know some people are probably racing up the leaderboards. I'll get there eventually. So I'm mostly just having fun picking parties that seem goofy and such. But anyway, uh, let's run it. Ooh, um, so many people have asked me and what this R means is the rarity of the party. So this is a 0 0.05 rarity party. I am <laughs> down. Basically, I'm down to just click every party they show me that I that is rare and learn. Uh, I also really like uh, all these new curses. I, I've said a lot of things about this game. I don't know where I've said what, but I love all the new curses. I think there's a ton of really interesting curses to take. I have a feeling that four tier one curses is better than a tier four. So let's try this. Less max mana, three pip pain, or random. I'll take two less max mana. I think that's fine. It all it does is really make Weaver a little worse. But yeah, I'm I'm down to grind out a few runs. I've been taking it very slow though. I have not been uh, grinding the game super hard, which is good for me because it means I'm gonna burn out uh, less. Because I know eventually I will. Uh, not really. I don't think I'll burn out, but if I put up a big score, I think I will probably uh, ease off of the game a little bit, maybe. Who's Bard? He has Shield 1 Cleanse with a 1x blank. That's pretty good, actually. They changed him a lot. I missed the charge side, but mostly this is just a nerf to ninja. I also think that Juggler is one of the best characters now. I think Juggler is so, so good. Heavy Dice 4 or Left Sticky? Uh, I mean, Heavy Dice 4, for sure. Cannot roll more than four dice at a time, that's fine. Uh, so what? it'll only matter, basically you just have to lock something on the first turn now, which is fine. Uh, we can lock like this stun and then roll the rest. You just gotta be choosy. Now the juggler math I had just worked out has changed. I think you still lock the two on the final turn, but the, the option might be different now. I'm not 100% on that yet. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to figure it out. Um, yeah, in the future, if I do... So my basic plan right now is that I'm probably going to play Slice and Dice until Wild Frost gets its big update, because I know there's another update coming. Oh, new enemy. Rolls away if only logs remain. <laughs> okay. No, I don't want that. <laughs> uh, right on. And 11 to 20, add rat. Seems fine to me. But yeah, when, when Wild Frost... I know Wild Frost is getting another update. It's on the roadmap. I don't know when it's happening, but I know it's happening. So whenever that hits, I'm, I'm sure we'll go back. And I'm if I'm just running out of time to play... Or like running out of desire to play Slice and Dice, I can move back as well. But it's good to just kind of alternate games for myself, I think. It'd be maybe good to do a little generate or something like that. I don't love going all in on one game, basically. I'm gonna roll it. Okay, it wasn't too bad. I think that could have been pretty bad, but it wasn't too bad. And if a thorn spawns in, it's not that big of a deal. I'm letting the logs roll away. <laughs> uh, originally, I was a bit of a hater towards Pilgrim. I said he didn't seem that good. He's pretty good. He's, he's pretty solid. I wasn't super enthused about him on first impression. He's better than I thought. Uh, I also think that Caldera is pretty good if you get a second blue. I can see this being solid. I'm going to pick Caldera. I mold. Add Decay to all sides or maximum of four spell casts. I can go maximum of four spell casts. It's, that might be, that might come back around to bite me, basically. But I don't think it will. It just means that we hope we have a better mana payout than Burst. That's all. I'm sure somewhere in this run I'm gonna forget about heavy dice and then lot or try to roll when I can't. That's the big one that's coming up that I'm gonna be waiting to embarrass myself on. Oh yeah, no no 
gaining more than one mana. I have a feeling that these four curses are going to feel pretty meaningless. That is my expectation. But it'll make some things a little worse. I'm always killing Alpha here. Okay, I'm gonna lock. Let's see where we end up. Probably with lethal. But yeah, it's so fun to... The big thing that I find super enjoyable... Oh, you know what I should do, actually? I should upload this run that I had last night on stream. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I'll decide later this afternoon. I had a run against... I, I, my party was this... Like, it was double red, double gray, one yellow. And I went versus the new boss, Inevitable. And it was like a 20 round fight. It was insane. Copy the middle side onto the left side. I don't think there's anything for this right now, but it might be good later. We can put it on wall up. Perhaps. But yeah, it was a it was a real long battle. Uh and it was super cool. And it's exciting to have all of this new shit to learn how to beat. Like this new boss. That's what I'm super in on. Ooh, Fiend Caldera? Now that's a combo. Now that's pretty sick. Fiend burns plus... Because the problem with Druid Caldera is... I must be... Yeah, all twos. The problem with Druid Caldera is that... You have to roll six mana to that for that to activate. This is four mana to activate burn plus scald, which is pretty solid. Mm, I'll roll. Three mana, cool. I'll roll. Okay, juggler. You can go scald, burn, stuns him, I guess. I don't think it matters a ton. I mean. You can do whatever you like here, basically, as long as that barrel dies. Like, you can hyper min-max, but it does not make a difference. Is this one shield every turn? I like Enchanted Shield a lot. I'm also... Uh, I find things like Longbow not very good. Because they don't scale very well into the end game. I don't really want Longbow in like 10 turns, or 10 fights. I'm not very interested. So, I find it to be less good as a result these shades are going to be really obnoxious <laughs> know it to be true because i'm not going to be able to kill them because my juggler is just going to swing on them <sighs> and i have to go first burst to save ruffian oof I'm gonna try to save him, but I think it's kind of hard. Because they're just gonna sit here and span eliminate on him, because that's all they do. Is span eliminate. Maybe I can get a stun out of Wallop. Come on, buddy. Too bad. Goodbye, Ruffian. Well, Wallop, you're next. Uh, sure. No, that's bad. Don't do that. Don't fall for it. Ooh, okay. I was gonna say if we roll... Oh, I can't. It's not lethal. This is good enough, though. It's lethal next turn now. Oh, you're right. See, yeah, good enough. Yeah, new cleric, by the way. Super good. New boss as well. Gladiator's the same. I click on this cleric now. I think this unit is a lot better. Like, a lot better. An insane amount better. Because you get this spell, shield one, cleanse, cleave, single cast, 8 HP, and 2-2 two, two manas. They fall off in long fights, but you don't play long fights. Anyway, this boss is 15 HP, and he's a chest. He runs away at the end of their third round. But, uh, he drops you a tier 3 to tier 5 item if you kill him. Which is pretty meaningful. I like to try to kill this guy. And I think we will be able to. As well. I roll. Good. Because we're going to go for... Heal shield. Oh yeah. Right. Probably don't do that. I just want to put five in the sarcophagus here. Uh, next turn I have lethal probably. He's on seven. And I just go scald and... Uh, I don't know. 
thinking into the future. Oh yeah, I can't. Hey, I knew it was gonna happen eventually. I'm not out here trying to think that far ahead. What am I gonna do next turn? Well, now is my problem, but that was someone else's problem yesterday. I think I'm gonna kill him. Well, I do. If I kill him here, I do have two deaths. So, hmm. I bet I can kill him. I can, but no, that's not a good idea. I think the tech here is going to just be to trade fiend. That's what I'm going to do. It makes it a much easier outcome if I just kill my fiend here, because he dies and he, nothing weird happens now. Ooh, we got a sack of mana. Place the middle column with blank, four mana, and blank. That item's pretty good. Ayu or Demon Eye? Demon Eye is, I find, the devil. It is like a demonic deal, for sure. Also, Ayu now adds Y. Pretty cool. But we do get to go like this and suddenly ruffian's got two four mana sides which is kind of cute ruffian has two vowels how many does fiend have two two we'll go ruffian oh ruffian has three. Oh, i a yeah true um we could do this actually let's convert fiend for now because ruffian is pretty strong with seven hp let's do this I wonder if you can start the fight, put up uh, five shields through passives at the start of the fight, and then have these guys run. That would be pretty funny. Um, I could make one of them run. The problem is that I don't really want to, because they're not that frightening to me. I don't think these guys really, they just hit, they hit four every turn. On turn one, that is nothing. On turn two and three, eh, you know, we can talk. You should roll for a better shield. Oh, I'm just killing them actually, yeah. Huh? Oh, that was a burn I hit. <laughs> Thought I had scald. Sinew, oh, he's eight HP now. He's a little better. Uh, I don't have any cleaves, so this is a very good, but his shields are a little better in the team where you'd have, like, suspicious survivability. That being said, I'm going to play Collector. Hero Caldera is a no. Uh, now, Coll Collector definitely just takes the mana. I'm not too upset about losing. What am I losing here? Growth, too. He's losing consistency, but you're gaining a lot of mana. Enough mana that I'm probably going to see a little bit of a downside from that four spell cast cap that I have. But, you know, we just work around it, basically. I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue. Oh, juggler. to cast light here. It's good because it keeps Juggler away from dying if you roll Caltrop here. And if you don't roll Caltrop here, I just have Lethal. That was the other piece of the puzzle there. Wand grips or door? I like door a lot. I think door is super good, but is it good here? Hard to say because I only have gray. I think wand grips. We have a high chance of seeing... Is this, is this plus two? Oh, door got nerfed, I'm pretty sure. I think it was more before. Maybe it wasn't. Anyway, uh, we have a higher chance of seeing wizards, so you can click on wand grips if you like. But I don't know if I like. I'm going to pick door. We'll see how I feel about this one long term. Gentlemen. The rat is here. I regret to inform you. He has arrived. 
Ooh, wow, what a turn one. Sheesh, I guess I should have settled. That was very unfortunate. But what can you do? I should have taken the cleave, I suppose, but uh, it's gonna happen when you have so many blanks. There's gonna be a lot more of these turns. Where you just go, hmm. Guess I'm rolling fucking nothing here. Yeah, sure am. This is getting to be a little bit unfortunate, I have to say. That's a lot of X's over two turns. And they've just been spamming poison on me. Hmm. I might be dead. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. Uh, juggler has to go big, I suppose. I have eight mana, which kills the little bee. All right, Juggler, don't let me down here. Okay, we're fine. If I lose over two turns here, oh no, we're not fine. Juggler. What the fuck, man? This is unbelievable. Come on, Collector. Yep, and that's how it goes, I suppose. Triple X into Triple X into Juggler Kills Herself into No Lethal. That's a great, that's a hell of a way to lose. Uh, what do you say? This curse seems fine. You just, sometimes you go, uh... X's, X's, X's. It happens. This is, uh, I think this is what happens now in new Slice and Dice, though. And this, this team isn't even supposed to do this, but a lot of characters have double X's like this, and you just lose sometimes. So, uh, what can you say? If you want to fight against it, you just click basic every time, but I'm not boring. Oh god, we got double greens. Uh, oh, Medlar, too. I like item poison a lot. I think this curse is pretty free. Uh, new character, if you haven't seen him, this is Lazy. 3 damage, 3 shield, and then 4 X's. And Primrose has Super Growth. Heal 1, Super Grow. This is just a character about growing. And Spade is uh, not very good. Oh yeah, you know I have Lethal. I have been, I have been having quite a few... I think Spine is horrific, by the way. I think this thing is actually unclickable. It seems so bad, but also, uh, I like Medlar a lot, so I'm gonna click on Spine. I don't know, it's it's as bad as it looks. It's special is that it has on hit damage the attacker for one, but like, I just don't see it. I really just don't see it. What does he do? 8 HP? He does, Like, he has no redeeming qualities, it seems like, to me. Now, I feel a lot of 3.0 is going to be having those little, uh, like, triple miss, triple miss on bad fights into dying. It feels like it's a lot more common because there's so, so many characters are now double X'd up like that. It seems like there's a lot less you can do. But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there was something I could do. It's just, it feels like, I guess maybe you could take the item off there. That might be the play, but... Nah. Anyway. I'm gonna go... Kill Bones. Kill Bones is better. Everyone... Not everyone. I've seen a lot of people hating Meddler. I think that this character is... Uh, extremely good. Though. Like, so, so good. I... I don't know. The spell is crazy. Summoning bones is not a big deal. And you have infinite mana gain. I think this character is nuts. I also... I do think that you die a lot more at the start of your run, by the way. I think that round... early, early game deaths are gonna happen more often. Be, especially, uh, mostly if you're picking parties with greens, because greens have a lot of uh, no damage dealers. Which is... Uh, you know, 
And sometimes Madoid does this, by the way. <laughs> I think this character is so good. Okay, how good do I think you really are? I still think it's fine. Unless I go like XXXXXX again, which can happen here. Uh, hmm. I mean, lazy is just doing nothing, and what is my spine doing? Also nothing. Even still, I think we'll be all right. Hold on. Do I have... You're dying to cleaves. <laughs> Thanks. Hmm. One man off. Oh well. You should have rolled better, Lazy. I don't know what else to tell you. Goodbye. And it's not lethal, so we gotta keep going. That's lethal. Primrose, uh, theoretically, towards the end of the fight, does some big numbers, but you only have one damage side is the issue. Yep, I'll take a Scrapper here. No item for him. I don't know, the problem with Spine is that enemies just don't target him, I find. Like, how do you... how do you play around this? How do I... how do I make the enemies hit him so that I'm getting Spike's value? Sure seems like I cannot. Bloodlust. Very nice. Hey. Uh... Oh, hey, you hit him. Like, it's so weird, because all of this effort goes in to getting one damage, right? I get all of this for one damage? I don't know. Yeah, you can lock your heal. I think you have to focus on Bramble or on dying. Oh, hey, look at that. You know, the one damage matters. Never mind. I'm, I'm hating for nothing. I got fucking... I gotta fucking kill an enemy at three, and that sets him to three. Wand regret? Hmm. It's okay, wand of wand, I don't mind. I thought Bone was gonna run. Here we go. Now he's gonna run. Catch you at for spine? Hmm. Sure. I don't like silver very much either, is the thing, so. You know, you could also statue at the meddler, but that kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Two, one. Oh, if you haven't seen this growth keyword, by the way, this makes all key, all of the sides grow by one. In case you haven't seen that yet. Oh, is that two pseudos max rolling me? Hmm. Can't target that? Oh, you're right. To be one, then two, then kill. It could. What is this? This is a six, and this is a six. I can save one here. I'll save Primrose. Yeah, I don't see a reason to boost. Hmm, my spine is still sitting there, looking. Why is he poisoned? Oh, two items. Right, right, right. I have item poison. I forgot. Forgot I took that curse. Hmm. Guess you just shield yourself. It'll be fine. Probably. They'll hit my spine soon. There we go. There we go. Now he's getting hit. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Uh. Hmm. I think I'll just kill off a of bones. It's actually pretty good because it sets up a nice bloodlust for me, assuming I roll bloodlust again. All I have to do is find the damage to kill this barrel. But, you know, you can low roll and die there. I think it's super likely sometimes that it happens. Evoker Herbalist. Well, that one's not too hard of a click. 
I'll take Beerobolus, thank you. Evoker is okay if you have like a big mana party, probably, but I don't. Mm -hmm. Just gotta remember, that's how it, you, you just gotta say the, say the line. That's how it goes. Oh, and Blind doesn't run because Spine hits him for one here. Gross. You're supposed to leave, mister. Oh, the growth actually paid off. Go for two mana, I suppose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess I'll just take the lethal. Enchanted shield. Starting to look kind of samey. Like, it's always... Magnet is a new item. I think it's... Uh... I don't know if I've shown it off before. It's like a bonus if the target is shielded, maybe? Be a times two. It's interesting. I don't think it's bad. But, you know. Plus one shield per turn on Scrapper. Very good. I can actually slay. It's the same, though. Kill the Joey Bones here. Oh, no, I'm not. He says, then I'm still losing Meddler. So I'm gonna kill the Goblin? No. Well, yes, but like this. I got it. I figured it out. I put it together. Okay. Ah, Mimic. People keep telling me they think Mimic is not that bad, and I have to tell you I disagree. I think this character is so often terrible. I'm gonna go Glacia. The big problem with the greens is that they are just not very good. Like, the, the tier 1 greens aren't that bad, but the tier 2 and 3 greens are like... fucking spine. I am not sure what you do with these. Uh -huh. I should probably just take the shield side. That's on me. I'm gonna chill. Well, no, nah, we don't want to spawn a Slimer here. I'm good. Now I should chill. This is good. I mean, heal two, shield two, regen. Let me, let me see it here. I chill ya, I heal ya, I regen here. That looks fine. My primrose is pretty strong. We're up into the threes and fours on growth now. The more we grow, the stronger we get. I'm just gonna lock here. Cause we go like big heal. Oh, the Slimer is the killer, right? Slimer's killing the Herbalist, so I could go heal here. And that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I'm addicted to cl clicking on these big growth sides instead of doing anything else. I should probably roll for like a four shield or something, but I'm gonna click on the growth side because it's fun. I want to grow. Look at that. Four heal growth. Looks good. Probably, uh... <laughs> uh-huh. What, what he said. Definitely what he said. I have to save Herbalist. You know what? I could probably... I don't have a blank. I was going to say we could leaf here. But it's one boost only if you have a blank and a... Oh, wait, but I could get a blank. No, I couldn't. Never mind. Never mind. No, I can't. I should just kill the Slimer. Makes life easier next turn. Although sometimes they'll miss. And the Slimer won't miss. I'm just going to keep clicking on these Giga Growths. You can't stop me. No one has the power to stop me from doing this. Impressive. Herbalist hyping up the plants. 
Okay, I'm gonna start rolling for lethal now. There you go. Seven damage from my flower, by the way. Handle. Magic staff is pretty good. Typically. Dueling pistol's okay, but I'm, I'm happy to put magic staff glacier on the field. Two poison, though. But that's okay. Two shield. Very nice. Oh, man. I can't be surprised that I'm rolling a bunch of misses here because I have spine. He's, hit, he's sitting here with statuette, just looking. Ow. I'll be sad to lose Primrose. You know, it, some of the greens are pretty good. I love this flower. Look at him. He scales. I love scaling. Growth is fun. That's lethal. Get me out of here. Mm, this is a bad trade. Goodbye, Primrose. It's time to take, uh... Oh no. I guess I'm picking Granite. This isn't bad. Granite is uh, 5 HP, but they have 2 stone HP points. You get a Death Defy, which is cute. But, uh... This... I put this Bone Charm on Spine thinking that they would be targeting my Spine more. Sure doesn't seem like it. So Granite gets this Stone HP, which means now it takes, like, you can tank uh, this full hit, basically. Which is nice. Pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go, we want to maximize our Spine damage. the tech here. I don't care that he's losing uh, stone HP. It doesn't matter. Because I have lethal this turn. Usually. Typically. Often it will be done here indeed. Play some of the generated hero? Yeah. Hey, I want to go back. <laughs> this is This is the same character he has the same effect on hit damage the attacker for one. He just has a six heavy. Yeah, I want. I'd like to. Can I get a refund? This is a uh, dog equal HP. You can put this on Glacia and get some decent value. It's four mana a lot of the time. That's solid. I don't know what to do about that. Uh, I guess I just live with it. What else can you do? Nice try, buddy. Gross. You don't have to call him gross. He's right there. Oh, fine. We'll save the slime respawns for next turn. It's all good. Glacia with this magic staff and the plus two is pretty insane. I just have to remember not to lock the two mana sides because that's your worst roll. Yeah, two mana self shield is the best roll. Strange, isn't it? Wait. Now let's kill the slimer off. It's fine. No way the slime was with me, is right? Yeah, the slime one I would have killed didn't even roll anything. Done. Ooh, robot's cool. I think this guy is super neat. Uh, so he has shield one rampage, shield one uh, to all, heal one boost, one damage single use, one damage range duplicate, and shield one pain. And he has plus two item slots. Probably not very good for this curse, sadly. Like, I'd love to pick him, but, uh, but I don't want to pick Kronos over Glacia. Let's do it. I have no items for him right now, but... I think most of these sides are okay. You can just chill. Yeah, this Rampage Rescue is cool here. This turn actually looks pretty good. Just go one to those guys. It didn't rescue? Oh, it's because he's dying on stone HP. All right. all right, buddy. It's still fine because we're setting them to five, which was all I really wanted. Although same to five doesn't actually matter, does it? So I'm just going up to six here. Mm. 
going to stop the ghosties or the bones from spawning in at the ghosties because it's going to take a long time for granite to die to poison with stone hp i'm not too worried we can boost our regen maybe don't lock the two mana Oh, you actually, does he heal the stone HP? That doesn't seem right. I, he probably just heals naturally there. And I just healed him out of losing the stone HP. Yeah, 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 for sure. What's this? Inflict Exert. Uh, you know, of all the things they added to this game, hate Inflict Exert. Really don't love this. Huge not fan of Inflict Exert. But... We go 1-1, one, one, and then we get this big hit. Alright, how much? 12. Good. Ocular Amulet Jewel Loop is crazy. Add mana gain to all sides with exactly one pips. This seems extremely good for Robot, because now if I give him any boosts... Oh, baby. Oh yeah, that seems strong. I think that'll be a winner combo for sure. Nope, don't do it. I keep doing it, don't do it. Uh, you can just take the two, I think it's fine. There's no lethal for this. I don't think, so I'm just gonna roll. Okay. There's a lot of poison that we're fighting off here. Green, green, yeah, they're coming for you, buddy. The carriers, to me, they look a lot like zombies. I keep thinking that you can overkill them like zombies. You cannot. But it sure seems like you should be able to, doesn't it? Look at him. He looks like a zombie. He basically is. Ooh, very good. Love that flute. Yeah, cantrip one mana flute. Oh my god, it's crazy. Let me... Let me just see where we are here. We're six mana. I should like Glacier Roll, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm just checking. I gotta fix my mental about that. Often just click it and then go, yep, and now I'm done. I am not done. There's more to do. You can do this and then win next turn, actually. He kind of trolled himself, but Robot carried. Mushroom for these guys? Plus one, but decay. No, I don't think so. I'm not interested. Thank you. Ooh, what is it? I'm picking a random tier 6, tier 7, and tier 8 item. Curator is so juiced now. Oh shit, wait. Yeah, Curator takes for sure here. Because I can get Mana Gain Charged, Mana Gain Steel, and Mana Gain Era. Oh my. That looks pretty good. Luggage is interesting as well. I don't hate it, but uh, I don't love it either. Oh, and Curator's at 9 HP now, by the way. So why did I just lock that growth? What is wrong with me? What was I thinking? I don't think I was. Uh, yeah, my bad. That turn should have been a lot better, but I just locked in on growth for some reason. It's a bad brain, for sure. Anyway, Curator and Glacia have the same HP as what I was going to say before I... Uh, grew. Let me see what we have here. We have a rescue. Oh, but it petrifies. It's not even a rescue. Again, yeah, baited by stone HP once again. I just keep falling for it. This one's a rescue, but it just petrifies, yeah. I think I'm good with this. He's not gonna run, but... If he wins from 4 HP, he really deserves it. 
Second chance or wine. Wine is a seven? Oh, it's all monsters start poison. Ooh. A second chance is for sure here. Because now if I if I hit a reuse on curator with the charge mana gain, it's just an instant win. Also, this enemy, Chomp, is my least favorite enemy in this game. He's such a bastard. So his first five HP, when he takes damage, he deals one damage to your top end ally, and his next HP, the top teeth, are to the bottom ally. So it's a whole lot of how do I min-max this to not lose someone here. He's such a bastard. Uh, this is pretty good. Reuse up to 10. Can I do this? I can. But it should just go here. You could have done that. You could not have done that. Uh, he should run. Very good. Artificer? Uh, probably not. I might end up keeping Herbalist. Or sorry, Glacia to the end. And I'll take Surgeon. Hero Robot? Nah. I might keep Glacia for that uh, four mana shield. It is very good. Mm -hmm. Sure. Just looking for something good here. We can inflict single use on Troll King, I guess. Ah, this is good. So it's not quite perfect, but that is 19. So I think it's pretty good. Crushed? Huh. Okay, I thought I had a sneeze coming on. Hold on. I did have a sneeze coming on. Anyway, the reason the curator is so strong here is because we have one we have two sides that work effectively the same. Sapphire Ring? Or Singularity? Singularity is interesting. Probably Sapphire Ring here. Yeah, I think so. We're for sure mana gaining. And... There it is. Man, I'm hitting on these reuses too. Oh yeah. Goodbye, everybody. I mean, I guess it's actually not that important because I'm just hitting into zombies, right? Mm. Seems good. Vessel. Uh, granite, vessel, it's the same unit, basically. So I'll just take this. The vessel comes with a random blessing. Oh, upon death, one mana. That does nothing. But he's basically the same unit. I just need someone that sits there and holds this reuse for me. Like so. This fight kind of sucks, though. Don't do this. It's a little bit of a shame. Because he just gets away with it. The basilisks. So it's supposed to be reuse three mana. And then I get this. Uh, let's go here. Or actually here? Yeah. They don't die immediately. Disgusting. Ooh. Goodbye, Wiz. Uh, we should... I, I can't imagine a fight that we have trouble in. Or trouble with here. What triple shuriken? Range chain? Sounds good. Because now I can fight Hexia very comfortably with this. And also, uh, chain on mana gain seems good. I think. Vessel has a cleanse. I didn't even read what he had. That's pretty solid. Mm, I roll. Curator, he can't miss. That's your big point. He never misses, and neither can Glacia, really. So we just go, uh... What is that? Ah, 12 damage. Let me go boost here, actually. What is that now? 14 damage, mana gain, charged. Seems good. 
Mm. I suppose you can let that one. Goodbye. Inevitable. I am unafraid. I am going to keep Glacia here, though. Definitely keeping Glacia here. So this is the new boss. I don't think I don't know if I fought him in YouTube yet. He is Era on all of his sides, and he has intangibility every five HP. And he is three damage inflict exert cleave, six damage self heal heavy, and three damage top and bottom weaken. So the early fight is super free, and then he just starts crushing you. But you can also just uh, outlive him. Hey, does this work in a way that I like? It does chain, okay. There is something to be said for going through here and cleaning all the wisps out. But I don't know if I want to commit myself to that. Because red, green, blue, green, they're all hitting different targets, so I can only really easily kill one. What'd you just say to me? If I had a better, if I had like a, yeah, I don't think there's a good way to do this. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna reroll. I'll just roll it all. Better. Uh, your best thing to do is probably just give me one shield. Interesting. I was thinking about this as a potential outcome. I didn't expect it though. So we can go, we can just cancel his Inflict Exert, which is pretty good. And I think I will first here. So the trick to this boss, by the way, if you're, tr if you're struggling fighting this boss, all you need to know is that he does no damage and your goal is to break as many intangibles at once as you can, like this. So, we broke two intangibles here, which is going to make this fight a lot easier. If you have to play slow, you have to kill the wisps. Uh, I don't necessarily have to play slow. Also, I forgot to chill. And knew I forgot something. Can he chill? Okay, that's what I thought. I thought you could still do that. But, uh, if you have to, you can leave the wisps alive. They're not super important. Because a lot of times they just sit here and do very little compared to the boss. This is good, I roll. Good, good. I'm happy with whatever you hit here. Yeah, that's good. For sure. No reuse, but that's all right. Yeah, now he's just dead. Like, it looks scary until you realize that you can break through multiple at once, and then you go, oh, I get it. Please. But I think he's very frustrating, uh, first first look. But I actually, I really don't think he's that challenging. Maybe there are teams that he crushes, I don't know, but eh, whatever. The, f the first, first of all, Curator, oh my god, this guy is crazy. Second of all, I think that a lot of, uh, a lot of this game now is going to be figuring out which parties are horrific and which parties are good. I might just sit down and play a bunch of classic runs, but I don't know. I, I might do that in my own time, because I know that uh, it'll get boring quickly. Like, classic parties, I mean. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat something. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.